a black cloud of grief swelled in Dion's chest as he looked down at his little bro Trey shot in the black sea of asphalt. His blood giving a libation too generous to the tar. He let out this wail that thundered over the bodegas, but only one heard him, his big homie, an OG who the youngins called Unk. And as he runs in, hearing this lamentation, seeing the rivers escaping his nephew's eyes, Dion cries out, it should have been me. He was wearing my hoodie when the law pulled up. They thought I was him. So what we on? Before Uncle could respond, Dean was like, man, fuck 12. We gonna light the city up. Uncle replies, hold up, young blood. You ain't been blessed yet. See, Uncle's family was known as the Santeria folk. The Afro-Cuban came across way back when. They the folks you go to when you need a bit of luck on your side a bit of a blessing. So they go see Mama Aliha, Unk's grandmother. She's still around. She weaves Dion a new hoodie, woven from thread that shimmered because it was touched by the deities. This hoodie was the dopest shit I've ever seen. It was like quilt stitching them old folks do in Mississippi. On one sleeve was Dion's people, mom, pa, Sisters, great 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 kin, all at a cookout. On the other was memories of him and Trey shooting the shit, <laughs> stealing Debbie snacks from the corner store, fishing the good days. On the front was a mosaic of his community a cipher, the garbage man, Lulu walking fine like she do, corner hustlers hungry for the next dollar. All of this shimmered by the light of the noon dying day. As the moon awoke, it grew the glow. It shot out with a beam that robbed us of our breath as Dion walked down the block. When headlights hit him, the hoodie was blinding. As he approached the precinct, the glow of the hoodie pierced through the night air like a bullet. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs>